So I'm a pretty big fan of modded Risk of Rain 2, if you can't tell from the countless videos on my channel that I have completely designated to breaking the game. But in today's video, we didn't quite break the game, but we definitely, well, I made the game interesting. Boiling, come here. If you guys have been enjoying the Risk of Rain 2 content, please watch some more. Don't worry about liking the video or even subscribing. If you guys enjoy the content, please go enjoy it. It's here for you and it's completely free. So, without further ado, enjoy the video. Here we go, we're back in. And we're not playing your normal survivor today. We're playing Aegis. Now Aegis is a pretty cool character. You can uh, shoot with your M1, and everything is, is centered around the barrier. So all of my healing is transformed into barriers. And on top of that, you'll see here in a minute, we also use our barriers to use some of our abilities. Like this. We can dodge and do a little bit of dashing with our, with our little barrier here. Let's see, I think healing arms are going to be our best friend today. So I'm going to keep getting some cautious slugs, maybe a few med kits. And so far, so good. So far, the damage seems pretty dang insane. How much damage does this do if I charge it all the way up? And, okay. Uh, Alright, let's see here. What do we have to work with? And I'm going to go for uh, Wongus so I can get barrier back when I'm sprinting now. Drop in the comments below if you want to see an Aegis to Eclipse 8. I will make sure to make it happen. So we're going to charge up all of our shield and explode it. Okay, so that almost was able to kill him. So it, it can do very good damage. Uh, it can do very, very good damage. So here we go. We can now get this right here. The Corpse Bloom. And uh, this is going to help us out a lot. It's going to apply all of our healing over time. So now we pick up a couple of these. We'll get uh, two stacks and three stacks and four stacks and five stacks. So you double your healing, but it's applied over time. Normally that'd be pretty bad. But for now, all right, I'm going to take a pause on the regenerating scrap. And I'm going to grab a ATG. A little bit more damage, and ATGs are a pretty good way to do that. So we need to check back over there. Surprisingly enough, this thing does crazy damage. All right, and the void is down. I have to get some more Wungus if we can. You see, I'm going to charge up my shield damage, and that's going to do a lot of damage. That's 3,000 damage right there. Just more Wungus. That is going to be more health for us. And here we go. Can we one shot the boss with our big E? Let's see. How you doing, Shatter? How are you, buddy? I'm gonna get right underneath you, jump and blow it up. That's about half his health. That is very, very, I mean, that's decent. Like, that's really good damage. So, now they're gonna launch up here. One down and two down. Wonderful. Nice. Another gold item. That's actually really good for us. With this, we're gonna grab the Shatter Spleen because more damage. And how wonderful is this? Siren's Call. Oh, all right. Through the ground. There he goes. <laughs> so, there's actually a lot of chests on this one. So, we should be able to get 100% crit like it's nothing. We're already at 60. And there's a bunch of chests. We should be able to get it. And we're one off of getting the big, scary robot guy. Gonna do this and see if we can get a red. Oh, let's see what we can get. We'll get a white. That's fine. I'll take more crit chance. All right, here we go. Here comes the alloy worship unit. And we do good damage. Like, he's already down, you know, almost a quarter. But let's get some really good damage in here. Big charge up blast. That's gonna do decent damage. Most of it comes from our burn damage. Um, I'm finding out. Pretty good Aegis dodge right there. They're causing some pretty nasty bleed, too. Whee! The burn is what we need to really do good damage to him. It just does not take damage. I don't know why. I feel indestructible right now. I feel like Homelander. Also, why is there not a Homelander mod yet? What's going on? What is going on? All right. Well, with this, you know exactly what we have to get. Uh, and that is going to be our brother. So now we can get more of a barrier because we're going to be healing fast full. Actually, we might not. It might be completely pointless. But hey. It's for the meme. All right, this entire run is a meme, and we're going to stick to it. Overloading brass contraptions. Okay. The more targets you have, the more damage we can do, so I guess we'll take it. Going to dance around you guys real quick, and I'm going to actually go for this. going to be 10,000 worth of shielding, and pretty much everything instantly dies. Just about time to continue forward. You can see, like, we do really good damage, especially with the bleed on top of it. Get this up right here. More attack speed, baby. We we're already shooting 60% faster than we were when we started. I'm going to start working on getting some mochas. That way we can get attack speed and movement speed because we are pretty dang slow. We do have a hoopoo feather. 
So that'll help us a little bit with Mythrix. I prefer to have two, though. Momokas! Momokas! I love it when I get Momokas. All right, Momongas, I'll take it. Let's see. Well, we can definitely get watches and be nice and safe, because we can't take any damage. Uh, we'll never be below. Yeah, that's going to help us out with our damage a lot. Let's get some more watches. Good night. Oh, by, by all means, I'll take another watch. Because we literally will not ever go down that. We have 23,000 shielding. So our damage is just going to always be kind of crazy. Let's see what we can get here. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I'm actually going to go for Plasma Shrimp on this one. I love Plasma Shrimp. I also love Poly Loot. Maybe it's just me. But I have a video coming out soon, but you'll understand why I like Poly Loots now. And the Poly Loots were going absolute ham. But without further ado, let's start this boss and see how well we do. Again, Plasma Shrimp, no reason to not get it. We will never go below the uh, certain amount of health needed to use it. And yeah, our damage is absolutely insane. Just in time, we get our last needed one. These guys are going to be pretty annoying. Here we go. As you can tell right now, just by sitting here, we have 40,000 overshielding. Which means we'll never lose our watches, we'll never lose our Plasma Shrimps, and uh, we're going to continue skyrocketing at this point. And I almost forgot to uh, buy my reds. That would have been bad. And for this red, I think we'll go with a little behemoth. Because that sounds pretty good to me. Now, I'm not going to have crazy, crazy overshielding or fighting Mythrix. We don't have 40k anymore because it did reset. But if we don't get hit for long enough, we should be perfectly fine. So now, like I said before, the moment of truth. Can Aegis finally beat Mythrix in a one-on-one? -on -one? All right, Mythrix, time to see what you got. I think Aegis has got you here, but we'll see it. So far, so good. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a charge up attack. So that did, that did pretty good damage. We we do very, very good damage. It's not a complete wipe, uh, like I kind of kind of honestly thought it would be. Not a complete wipe, but it's still a pretty easy battle. You can see on now, once you get that bleed stacked up really, really high, really, really high, you can see just how much damage we're doing. Also, that was a very close hammer. Excellent stage. One is down. Oh, pillars. Burning Behemoth does seem to be helping a lot, especially with these long-range interactions. We are kind of just able to draw everything in at once and uh, do good, good, good damage. Once those bleeds start stacking up, it's pretty much game over for whoever I'm shooting. All right, this should be it. All right, here comes stage two, Mythrix. I'm going to get back up here. Beam bomb. Like what? Okay, let's do pretty damage. Missile drone. You going to shoot him? Bait him up here a little bit. Perfect. That was a good damage that we can do here. I'll back to the middle, so he does lose all of his bleed. Aegis is not frail and soft. You are incorrect. We're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Do you know who I am? Did no one tell you who I was? I am the one who knocks. Oh. I am the one who knocks. All right. Now comes a real test of damage here. Can we beat Mythrix even though he stole all of our items? We can kind of glitch out here. We can snipe him right here. Yeah, he can't hit us. You stink. You stink. You stink. Nice. We got some of our shielding back. Once we get like a little bit of damage, we'll be good to jump in there, but I don't want to risk it just yet. He's healing for a lot of health, I'm noticing. Those are medkits. All right, we got some more healing. If we can get my shrimps back. Give me my shrimps back, please. There's gas. I mean, it doesn't help a ton, but there's gas. All right, time to go. Nice. Crit him up. There's my Aegis. There it all comes back to me. And just right. like that, Mythrix is no longer existing. Of course, shoot his body. You know what, honestly? No, honestly, like, I, I don't know why Mythrix thought he stood a chance against Aegis. You know what? No. I'm not done. King of Nothing is done, right? But I think it's time we do something a little bit special this video. All right, Space Crab. Let's see what you're made of. All right, Smelly Guy. Spawn him. There you go. Now, this is a boss fight that I think is equivalent to my damage. Again, you can see, especially with the Voidling, he can't do very much against us because he's kind of a standing still target. So I'm just going to continuously stack up my bleed, continuously stack up my damage, and he's not going to be able to do very much to me whatsoever. I'm going to be saving up on my regenerating force field, and that's going to hurt. I, was going to, we're too th I think we're too short actually for him to hit us. Uh, we were not. We're just invincible. We're just invincible. You don't scare me a bit. All right, Space Crab has already lost one life. Oh, this is a new one. Good thing is we uh, really can't die in here. We have like 10,000 seconds. To uh, just kind of hang out here so we could kind of explore. Maybe go ride that whale. That'd be kind of fun. And on to the stage two. It's a cool map. Worldling, hate to break it to you, but you are bad. You're not good at this game. We are just easily mining through this guy's head. Here comes the black hole laser. 
And uh, just gonna wait for him to uh, do his thing. I can play this guy with only one hand. All right, that's how easy it is. By the time you have 500 stacks of bleed on you, there's not a whole bunch you can do. He almost kills with that black hole, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't do it, so we're all right. The next little tear in space is gonna be right here. Uh, I'm not running over there. I'm just gonna. Ah, I'm just gonna vase. Come here. Look, he's afraid of us. He's literally running away. Boiling. Come here. There you are. Hey, buddy. I'm just kind of continuously piercing his eyeball. And he doesn't seem to be enjoying it too, too much. He's using his black hole move. I don't think we can kill him in time. We might be able to. Aha! And we got him in time. And just like that, the void has been uh, eliminated. There's Earth. And uh, we're free to go. Free to go home. You can see that in this game, we dealt 1.8 million damage as the class Aegis. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, go watch another. Here's two options right here at the end of the video. Go watch them. Have fun. See you guys next time.